Look at this distinguished gentleman. He's molting his hat. No. You can hear the cat whinging in the background. He is singing the song of his people. He's the saddest boy in all of the lands. So neglected. Because we do not allow him into the kitchen. little guy go. Stop it. <laughs> Don't think he's going to. He's a cat. Cats, cats are ungovernable. But yeah, it's hard to tell on the camera, but um, this guy is quite small. Like those little square things there, that's isopoops. To kind of give you an idea of how little this guy is. Not often I get to film them molting. That little black spot part way up the plate, that's his eye. So he's a good way out. Unfortunately, this is the spot where a lot of them can and will be killed because they're just not strong enough to molt properly. It's the main killer in the really big ones and the really small ones. It's the small ones just aren't strong enough and the big ones are just too big to molt properly. I think that's probably what's killed off one of my two chungus isopods in the albinos. Either that or he's just burrowed somewhere deep in the dirt and I don't particularly want to try and dig him up. He's in there somewhere. He's probably. in there somewhere, probably. Oh, oh, he's nearly out. You're not going in there. Herbie, you've never been allowed in the kitchen. What makes you think you're allowed in now? Little shit bird. No.
Let's just zoom out so you can see how little this guy is. You can see he's really small. Oh, he's proper shimmy shaking now. He's he's nearly out. Come on, little buddy, you can do it. I like how this one's just, these ones have just been vibing here. So I've got two segments to go. <laughs> so I'm just going to quickly zoom over here. If I can find him on the camera. He's a hat! Also underneath him, that is a very small male. Very trying stutter. to mate guard a female nearly twice as big as him. He's trying, bless. Oh, she's got a yellow leg. Stop it. Anyway. Oh, hello, little friend. Back to our boy here. Furby, stop it. <laughs> Furby is still singing. Don't know why he's so obsessed with getting in the kitchen. He's never shown any interest of going in. He's never been allowed in. It's just now suddenly it's the most interesting place in the whole world. Cats. Ooh, ooh. He's nearly out. Oh, you can see his antenna, like, down at the front of the shed. There's his little face. He's nearly out. Come on, little dude. Wow. 
Baby, shut up. Oh, here comes a big boy to check in. <gasps> and he's free! As you can see, he's a bit wet looking because he's just obviously just molted. But he will now go and find a really dry end of the tank and he'll just dry out and harden up his shell. So at the minute it looks a bit like a drowned rat. I think he wants to go into that hole but he's blocked it with his shell. <laughs> oh, we'll leave him to it. It's the first time I've ever managed to record one coming out of their molt. I mean, I've seen bits, but... Never actually captured the moment before. Thank you, little granulatum. You adorable tiny boy. Stop it! I'll be sure to put extra calcium in for them since it seems a few of them are starting to get ready to molt. Goodbye, little pods.